Hey guys, so I have now been in Sweden for six months, so I'm over the halfway point, which is just incredible. Like, every month it just gets better and better, and it's like now scary to think that I'm closer to going home than I am to arriving in Sweden, so crazy. But this month the biggest thing that happened was Euro Tour. So that was the best three weeks of my life, without a doubt. I had so much fun and saw so much and just did so much in just 17 days. So that's mainly what I'll speak about. So Euro Tour started in Malmo, which is at the bottom of Sweden, because then it's easier to get to the rest of Europe. So um, we all went there overnight and, you know, not much. We didn't really do much, just, you know, uh, slept there. And really then we started early in the morning, 8 o'clock we headed to Germany. So, uh, in Germany, um, we arrived there, you know, we did a bit of sightseeing and that sort of thing. And then at the night time we went out clubbing, which was just so fun. It's just interesting to experience like, like how the different cultures are and that sort of thing. But, um, then the next night we went to like a traditional German dinner. So I think we had like some like sausages and all this really good food, um, but like because we had so much different food on the trip, it's really hard to remember like exactly. But um, then after that, we were walking back home, and there was this busker playing a Snow Patrol song, and he was just like by himself, no one else was watching us, him. And then like us, about sixty, almost seventy exchanges went and started dancing, like slow dancing together to it, and that was just such an incredible memory and such like a typical exchange student thing to do. And uh, yeah, so we were just like dancing and he was singing for us and it was just, oh, it was so much fun and it just like started the trip off really well. So also in Berlin we went to visit uh, the Berlin Wall and uh, got to sign the wall and took lots of pictures and that sort of thing. So that was really fun. So I hope like the exchange students next year can go back and like see where we've signed. That would be really cool. And then we went to the Stasi Museum and that was really interesting to see how like much the government of the time or the political party was like looking over everyone and spying on them. I thought that was quite interesting and to see how different it is now. Then after Germany we went to Poland um, and so that started off with like we did a city tour through Krakow which is just such so beautiful. The old town of Krakow is just um, incredible and then after that we went to Auschwitz which is the concentration camp. So I mean like that was pretty difficult to see like some of the rooms I remember there was this run room and you went in and then it was like it had all the hair like from all the people and that was quite shocking and, like children's clothes and so many like shoes and personal items so that was really sad to see and then we actually went into like the gas chambers and things I mean it was all quite difficult to see but I think it's so important to see it and remember it and so like these things don't happen again I guess and then so ours was just like two camps I think and then the next camp's called like Birkenau or something and Birkenau was quite different it was like this, this long rail road and then you had like all different buildings where the people were held so we went in there and saw like where they slept and that sort of thing and a lot of that's burnt, burnt down and it's quite weird to see because it's actually quite like visually pretty that it's surrounded by nature and that sort of thing so um, it's quite like a contrast to see that like a place where such horrible things happen like can be quite attractive like not attractive but like can be it seemed really peaceful and uh, and quite nice and then also where we were there um, it started like pouring t uh, torrential rain I had never seen so much rain in my life so we all were just like soaked and you couldn't park the buses near like the opening of the camp so we walked back and we we're all just drenched and I think it was just quite a weird atmosphere to be in but um, I think it was really important that we saw it and I'm really glad that I've seen it so then after Poland and Krakow, then was Hungary, so we went to Budapest. So we did, we saw like a lot of castles and things. I mean the whole trip we did see a lot of castles, so kind of like all blends together I guess. But I mean when I look back at the pictures I can remember. So we saw some castles, but I think the best part of that was um, we went on a boat tour at night. Down, I think it was like the main river. I guess in Budapest and like just to see all the old buildings at night oh, it was spectacular and just to be on the boat and having fun with all the exchange students again it was just another incredible experience and then the next day like a lot of places we stopped in a country just for lunch um, some days we were in four countries in the day so we went to um, Slovakia the 
a town called Bratislava and we had lunch there and that was it was really cute to see it was like a little small town quite quaint but you know you know all the buildings were kind of like old brick and that sort of thing and it was just it was interesting to just uh, yeah experience the different types of countries in Europe and then we went to Austria and so we were in um, a place called uh, Zellum C, I think yeah and uh, and that was where and you could just see the Alps so we're kind of in the middle of nowhere but it was incredible um, so when we went to the um, Alps you could either choose to climb up the mountain or go through the valley so um, I went through the valley because like if you had any like issues medically and I have like bad knees so if you have any issues you couldn't do the mountain and I heard it was so hard but we had a tour through the valley of the Alps and oh, the scenery was just it was something again like we had watched Sound of Music on the bus just before coming so it was just like scenes from Sound of Music it was perfect like you could just take a postcard picture the whole time there and then after that we stopped in Slovenia for a lunch and did that I mean I don't remember so much of that I think it was nice <laughs> it's hard when you just stop in the countries for lunch and, uh, and you're seeing so much all in 17 days but then after that was Italy so we went to uh, Lido de Gisolo just something like that horrible pronunciation but that's okay and we stayed there for three days and the beaches were incredible like the day we got there we all just ran to the beach and because like we just had Sweden in winter and it really wasn't warm enough to swim and most of like the people that was their first swim in six months and especially like the Australians who missed the beaches so much we just like ran into the water and it was warm and oh, we just had a lot of fun and then like the second day there you could hire like these boat little boat paddle things and they had like a slide down them so we hired them and we like slid down and that was so cool another really cool experience um, and then yeah um, what else did we do in the... Italy was like pretty chill kind of like recovery time I guess um, some people went out clubbing but um, most of us went for like night swims <laughs> like in the middle of the night um, with Rota we got a curfew of 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock depending on where we were and what we had the next day so we could like really do a lot in the night time we kind of had a, quite a lot of freedom to go and see what we wanted to so we did that and yeah because they had these big piers that went out so we like normally would go out and like run and jump off the piers and things so that was really fun also in Italy we did a small trip to Venice so we're in Venice for two hours and I really love Venice we got to do a gondola ride like typical uh, thing to do in Venice and that was <laughs> that was amazing um, it was just so fun to do because you always see pictures and hear about it and to actually experience it and go through like the canals of Venice was so nice I don't think we got enough time there I'd like to go back and like spend a night or something and like more look at the architecture and things like that but from what we saw like it was incredible it was just oh just to see everything and like the bridges over the canals and everything oh it was incredible and then so next we went to Paris and like I was not excited for Paris because I was like oh typical you know cliche touristy thing like I've heard so much about Paris it's probably you know gonna be lots of tourists and everything but then I got to Paris and I was like oh my gosh it was absolutely incredible it was my favorite city by far you can never see everything in Paris it's just there's so much to see and people talk about like some like Eiffel Tower effect or something how people just get like obsessed with the Eiffel Tower and I can see how that happens because you just want to keep seeing it and go back and go back but um so Paris started with like we spent the night there and went to had like a typical French dinner and that sort of thing which was really nice and then the next morning we did a city tour so we went and saw the Eiffel Tower and you know um, the Arc de Triomphe and the Louvre and most things but it was from inside the bus mainly but then um, the next day we got to do whatever we wanted like tour of the city so me and some girls went and did some different things um, we went to saw, see there's it's called like the art bridge in French but it's basically that bridge with all the locks on it that like two, that a couple will put on and like throw the key into the river or some similar and they are taking some of it down but they put it up they put new pieces of wall up so me and two other girls one from New Zealand and one from America we did a lot together and got it engraved and put it on the bridge on a new part so it wouldn't get taken down soon and I still I still have like the key from it and um and that uh, that was really cool to be able to like do that 
And then uh, we went and saw uh, the, the Notre Dame building church thing. Yeah, church. And we went inside and oh, it was huge and there was like a choir singing and it was beautiful. And then we just like walked around, had a look at the Arc de Triomphe. And then we went to Abercrombie and Fitch and that main shopping, the shopping street, which I forget the name of, but I'm, it's pretty famous. And it had like all the designer stuff, so we went into Sephora. But Abercrombie Fitch was so fun because there's a, like this model that stands out the front and you can get pictures with, which was really cool. But everything there was like above 50 euros easily. So it was super expensive. It's like a museum there. Yeah, and then we looked yeah at all the sort of different shops and that sort of thing. And then came back for the dinner, and then that night, uh, after we, we had another French dinner, and then that night we went to the Eiffel Tower. And so it was 11 o'clock and the lights were sparkling, so we ran under the Eiffel Tower, and all us girls like lied down together under the Eiffel Tower and just looked up and it was blinking, and then we're like, you know what, we should go to the top. So we went to buy tickets and we're like, okay, you guys are the last guys we're letting up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. And we're like, oh my gosh. So we, there we were at the top of the Eiffel Tower at midnight, the Eiffel Tower was blinking and we had a curfew of one. So um, after we were at the Eiffel Tower and just like soaking it all up, we had to run back to the station to get the subway because the subways closed really early. So we had to run to get our subway and that was just my favourite night of the Euro Tour. Just because like we got to do something absolutely incredible. Like you never think I, oh, like last year if you asked me, oh, like, or oh, told me that I would be at the top of the I would have with friends from all over the world just having the time of my life I would not believe it and yeah it was just so special and then after that after the next day or so I think we had another day in France and did all different sorts of things just walked around and ate and did like crepes got crepes and that sort of thing so that was fun and then Going back, we went, we drove to Belgium and we had lunch in Brussels and that was really fun. We got Belgian waffles and we really got like an hour or two so we just had a quick look around. Really nice architecture and um, churches and things and so that was good to see. But again, not really enough time so that's a place I would like to go back to as well. And then for our last night we spent it in Bochum, if you say it like that, in Germany and this was a sad night because um, there's 70 exchange students, around 70 exchange students in Sweden and 50 of them are from America, Canada, um, like Brazil, South America, that sort of thing. So um, how they do exchange, they're all leaving in July and most of them have left now. So that night we did like performances and signed each other's flags and gave each other pins and it was just a real night for saying goodbye. And the next morning when we had to say it, um, we all had trains at different times. From um in oh we like the next morning then we drove to Malmo and then we had we stayed that night and like we went and got pizza and things and then we had to say goodbye the next morning from Malmo and it was so sad there were so many tears and crying and just hugs because we'd all just had like an extraordinary like we'd been known them for six months but with the exchange students it feels like you know them for a lifetime easily. And so, like, you had to say goodbye to best, best, best friends, and it was really, really hard. But it just shows you what an amazing six months, like, you can have and what sort of friends you can make. And now, like, in most places of the world, I have friends to go see and stay with and um, allow them to show me their city and culture. So it's amazing to kind of remember that and look back on that. But, like that it was hard and like now all my oldies, so Shane that I talked about a lot, he's left and uh, like Fanny, the French girl, she's left and it's really hard to see them all now on Facebook just back in their hometowns, back in their normal lives. But it's also exciting because in August we get a bunch of new ones as well, another 50 new ones and in the Gothenburg district which is what I'm in, there will be um, 10 new ones so like I have that to look forward to. But yeah, this was mainly it for this month. The Euro Tour was a big one and covered a lot. But I'm going to have another one up pretty soon to cover. Um, I just went on a boat with my host parents. So I want to go talk about that a lot and um, some other things when the new ones come. And I'm, I'm doing a trip to Stockholm as well. So I have a lot still coming up, which is really exciting. But uh, thanks for watching this one. And I'm really glad to share this all with you. And I will hopefully be able to update soon. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.